Hey there. A quick thank you message to the nearly 4,000 people that decided to follow my journey here on YouTube. I am very grateful and honored to have you guys as my subscribers, so thank you very much. Today we've got a very exciting video for you guys because we're comparing the Pocket 6K Pro to a Hollywood workhorse, the Airy Amira. The angle of this video is not necessarily to see which camera is better, but more if the Pocket 6K Pro fits in the Airy workflow. The true strength of this camera is that it is so small, yet it packs an insane amount of power. Before we start, I quickly want to give a huge shout out to my friend and fellow cinematographer Roderick Patain for hanging out with me and Frank the entire day and letting me use his Amira. His incredible work ranges from commercial shoots for Porsche, short films, documentaries and music videos for artists like Don Diablo, Lost Frequencies and you name it. So definitely go check his Instagram page out and give him a follow. With that being said, let's start with the first sequence. Can you spot which camera it was shot on? Let me know in the comments below while you're watching it and don't cheat. Every one of you who thought the Amira was camera A. Nice, good job. <laughs> Proud of you. Quite hard to see, wasn't it? Let me put you to the test one more time and let me know in the comments which camera you think is camera A or B. Everyone who thought the black magic was camera B. Good, nice, yes. <laughs> As you can clearly see in this example is that, especially in the end shot, the roll off is so nice and smooth that, yeah, that can only be the airy, obvious. Anyway, let's continue to the skate sequence. Here we're trying to see how both cameras capture fast moving objects and to see the effects of rolling shutter. So, let's roll. <laughs> Airy performs a little better in this department, which is no surprise because there's a better processor built into the camera that can read the sensor quicker. If you don't know what a rolling shutter is, basically if you compare it to the Red Komodo who has a global shutter for example, that scans the entire image at once. A rolling shutter scans it from top to bottom. So that's why you get these moving objects when something fast passes in front of the lens. Now let's quickly compare the frame rates. The Aero shoots up to 200 FPS in 2K, while the Blackmagic only goes up to 120 frames per second in 2.8K. But it's cropped pretty badly. Airy is well known for its color science. That is mainly the reason why so many movies are shot on an Airy because the color science is unbeatable, especially in the skin tones and the highlight roll off. You can definitely sort of distinguish whether it's an Airy or another camera. So let's try how close we can get the pocket to look like an Airy. The good thing about Airy is that you can basically add a little bit of contrast and the image is good to go. Whereas with the pocket cameras, you do need to tweak a little more to get the same result. But that's because you see these images side by side. If you would see them in a sequence, all these tweaks are a lot less noticeable. So I personally think that all the pocket cameras can be used in a more high-end cinema production as a B camera or a small sort of, you know, easy to rig camera on top of cars and corners, rooms, you name it. And I think Blackmagic did an incredible job creating a camera that is so small, so cheap, but packs so much power. Of course, Aerie is superior in a lot of departments such as skin tone color rendition, highlight roll-off, um, 
you know, connectivity, all that stuff. But for the $2,500 this camera costs, I think it's a very legit option to use in a higher end cinema production. I think we've talked enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow Roderick and make sure to follow Frank as well. Both of them are in the description below, as well as my LUTs that I use for this video. So make sure to check them out as well. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Frank said I couldn't do peace anymore, but sort of a habit. <laughs>